Are you here for a tip? I've got good stuff, I promise you. Go ahead. The Church of the Four are a strange folk, but they're harmless enough. You should stop by for a sermon from the Father. I think I outdid myself with that one, don't you? Holy God, that sucked. Go away. Yeah, you're a loss. Well, we haven't actually seen the sermon. That was not worth one bottle cap. That wasn't even worth a hay bottle cap. That, which is a, a faux bottle cap, yes. That wasn't even worth a half of a future of a bottle cap. That was awful. <laughs> All right, where's the father? Welcome back to our church, brother. Yeah. Can we join your cult? If you wish to join our family, then you must go on the pilgrimage of the four. Oh, okay. It is no easy task. Oh, please. And many who seek to undertake it never return. Yeah, because they probably get bored and fuck off to Diamond City or something. Do you wish to partake? Yeah, sure, let's go. Then allow me to explain the pilgrimage. The Four has many brothers and sisters across the Commonwealth and beyond. Threes and fives. The lesser brethren all succumbed to time and were destroyed. We like to remember the Four's fallen brethren. Visit four of these places and <laughs> reflect on them. Then you will be able to join us. All right, well, let's go join this stupid kooky religion. Hey. Get your guns here. Let me see what you have. I'm sure nothing changed. But that won't stop you from looking. Still have to look. Ooh! Oh, it looks like he's got new stock after all. Ooh! Oh, baby, where have you been all my life? Yeah, you know, just floating around the wasteland. Crime. Oh! Report it. I will report this crime to your face that I didn't find this gun sooner. I found a freaking BNT TP9 or MP9, depending on which one it is. You want to call it the MP9. I will probably call it the MP9 because it's the full auto version. I'm glad you found a gun. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes! I'm glad you found yet another gun you like. Ugh! Sub-machine guns are my fucking jam, baby! Bird. Hey, what happened to my friend? I, I was perched next to him. Ow! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I feel kind of bad now. Zach hates birds. They're seagulls, though. It's fine. This is one of my favorite guns. Let's let's inspect it really quick. It's a big list. This is the BNT MP9, which its civilian variant is the TP9. Ah, uh, yes, the Beckler and Tach MP9. No, it's Bruder and Tomet. This one, you'll notice that you've got the white dot, the red dot, yes. and then the four red dots. Wait, is that a four-round burst, or is that a full auto? It's full auto. Oh, jeez. Yeah. The, the the four dots are just full auto. The civilian version only has two settings. The BNT MP9 originally started life as the Steyr TMP, or the Steyr SPP, which is the civilian version. Steyr was originally making these, and then for some reason, Steyr decided they didn't want to make them anymore, so they sold the rights to Bruger and Tomet, who is now the exclusive producer of these guns. Bruger and Tomet improved on the gun by changing the safety mechanism from a cross-bolt three-position safety to a rotating selector lever. That's a wise decision, I think. Uh, the cross-bolt safety was a little awkward. It was kind of hard to actuate. Now, with the addition of a rotating safety, it is completely ambidextrous. It is a rotating barrel, which is a really cool feature. Uh, another gun that uses a rotating barrel is the Beretta PX4 Storm pistols. Those also use a rotating barrel. You know on a M16, when the bolt goes forward, it goes into battery and then rotates to lock? Yeah. This one, the bolt itself goes forward and then the barrel rotates instead of the bolt. That's weird. Yeah. It's really strange. It's super cool. When you take the entire barrel mechanism out of this thing, it looks like a lightsaber. <laughs> it's freaking sick. <laughs> All right. Um, um, it's a polygonally bored barrel, which is really cool. Glocks use polygonal barrels, and so do H&K uh, pistols. They also use polygonal barrels. Oh, are the bullets we're firing shaped like hexagons? So normally, the rifling on a gun, if you were to magnify it, it's, it's 90 degree cuts. It's a bunch of spirals. Yeah, it's a spiral, but the spiral that's coming out of the barrel is a 90 degree thing. It means that one, the barrel is easier to clean. 
two, it means that the bullet meshes with the barrel better, so you don't get as many gas leaks, where the gas is escaping in between the bullet and the lands and grooves and going out the front of the barrel. The downside to polygonal rifling is it's generally more expensive hey, and a let's little- do it. <laughs> Let's get one thing straight. I'm not some soppy love fool, but I feel like you're pretty special to me. <laughs> you've impressed me, and you've not pushed me about like other people I used to know. <laughs> it's cool that you've accepted me for who I am. A loud-mouthed blonde cheerleader bimbo! Uh, <laughs> but hey, nobody's perfect. Nice. Please, uh, please go on. Look, all I'm saying is you're like my best friend. At least that's how I feel. I hope you feel the same. Otherwise, I'll look like such an idiot. You're going to be besties with Molly. Ooh, maybe we should try being more than best friends. Oh, my gosh. You are, like, so reading my mind right now. Woo! I didn't want to say it, but I think you and I would be great together. I mean, I know we're probably not perfect, but who cares about that when you're in love, right? Yay! I was going to make a joke about how I don't push you around and then push you, but that would be really mean to do, so I won't do that. I, I... I'll push Valkyrie instead. Never mind, I can't. I like how that's the third speech check you've passed, where you say, Hey, baby, let's bang! And she goes, Oh my gosh, yes! And then you don't do it. Yeah. Anyway, let's go to these four vaults. I don't think we've Ooh. met yet. Anyway, I... anything specific you want me to do, I'm willing to pitch in anywhere you need. Keep on maintaining this settlement, settler! Yeah, not right now, thanks. All right, just let me know. I want those goggles, though. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take the goggles. I don't need the goggles. I don't need to take every single thing that I see. Another kind of interesting thing about the uh, TMP is that it is made primarily of plastic. I mean, the bolt and barrel mechanism—that's all obviously made of steel. But the entire top cover of this gun is just one piece of plastic. There's not even any like aluminum inserts or anything. That makes it very lightweight. This is one of those guns that fits into a really weird niche of like. Is it a submachine gun, or is it a personal defense weapon? What does it qualify as? It's sometimes difficult to quantify these things. It, it is. It, it can be landmine. It can be a landmine. It can be a landmine. Why didn't I defuse that landmine? You did, with your face. Apparently so. All right, there is a vault somewhere around here. Ah, uh, yes, in the basement. Didn't I disarm everything in- what the fuck? Who's taking this place over and rearmed all the traps? Uh, alright, we visited the vault. Does that count? Yep, that counted. I wonder what they did for fun around here. Probably nothing! To the next vault! Next vault! Deus Vault! Actually, four of them, so Quadra's Vault! What does Deus Vault mean? Two vaults! Oh, hey, let's go to Vault 111. Hey, that counts! This gun is just so, it's like, it just, it, it bleeds 1990s. It's so great. I love it. All right. Let's take a moment to enjoy this path. I don't think it has ever looked this beautiful here before. Holy shit. Life is just being restored. The land is recovering. Nature is healing. <laughs> Nature is healing. <laughs> Nature is healing. Can you, it, it's so pretty here. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. Yeah. Look at this nice little creek. I would definitely- Valkyrie's in the way? I would take a nap here and read a book under these trees. Oh my god, I would totally set up a hammock between these two trees and just, like, just sit right here and... Ah. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that'd be- that'd be great. I would... I would be 100% about that. There you go. <laughs> Have fun in the river, Valkyrie. <laughs> yeah, there she goes. <laughs> Floating down the river. There's a lot of people that call the uh, MP9 the poor man's MP7. But I don't think that's accurate because MP9s cost a lot. Well, I call the rich man's MP8. Anyway, yeah, here we visited the vault. There it is, Vault 111. Wait, hang on. Yay! Something's hey. different about this place. You can't put my finger on it. Gee, I wonder what it could be. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna run past the the red rocket. Really oh, fast. of course we gotta modify our gun. I, well, I just got it. I gotta cut. I gotta make sure that it's up to snuff. Okay. okay. I gotta make sure it's cleaned. Can someone turn that music down? Oh, my ears are ringing. Who the fuck are you? Got more pockmark scars than Edward James almost. <laughs> I have been eating crackers for breakfast. I've been trying to eat one serving size of crackers. So I had a bowl of crackers for breakfast, you know, one serving size. Mm -hmm. And then I got a, a kitchen scale so I could accurately calculate how much is in a serving. Turns out one serving size of crackers isn't a bowl like I thought. It's like one third of a bowl. So oh, goodness. now I have one third of a bowl of crackers. <laughs> That's so sad. That's so sad. Yeah. It's so disappointing. I would say just like have cereal, but I mean, eating cereal in the morning, there's so much sugar in cereal. I figure eating crackers isn't great, but I mean, it, it, it's probably better than eating cereal. Why don't you have like toast? I don't want to have bread. Okay. Fair enough. Why don't you have uh well, I was going to say have a bagel, but that's Kind of the same thing. Would you it? believe bagels are made of bread? Yeah, I know. The standard backup iron sights. Sig Romeo, Sig Romeo, where are you, Sig Romeo? You know the magnifier that goes with the Romeo optics is called the Juliet. I did not. Yeah, that's fun. Ooh, I can put the B and T suppressor on there. Ooh. Suppress the machine gun. It's optional. What the? F Ooh, Corpo, yeah! In <laughs> Institute design! Oh my god, <laughs> that was ridiculous. I, I kind of actually really like it, which is unfortunate. <laughs> We've got the FDE one, the Red Menace. Yeah, oh, that's fun. I love that one. And standard. Uh, you know what? Let's be really stupid and give it the Corpo painting. <laughs> okay. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put the suppressor on there. <laughs> Alright. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. The Machine in Pew 8. Oh, oh god, that dot is tiny. I can't even see it. That's a very tiny oh, red dot. Oh shit, I wonder if you can increase the size of the red dot. Everybody's like, oh, one, a one MOA red dot means it's easier to see targets at long distance. Yeah, a one MOA red dot also means it's impossible to see the fucking red dot. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's bigger. That'll have to do, I guess. Righty then. Oh, it's a cyberpunk reference. That's why it says Arasaka on it. Yeah, I kind of figured Corpo, yeah. Uh, I should have I should have realized that. I didn't really even think about it. Oh, because, yeah, the other one was a Militech. Yep. <laughs> All right. All right, two more vaults. Deus Vault. Man, this is a lot of legwork just to get involved in a cult. <laughs> yeah. What? Why is that car floating? Why is that? Oh, okay. All right. I... <laughs> not, not a hover car. Not a hover car. It was actually being suspended in air by a forklift. Ooh. I'm driving a flying car. Look at me. I'm just like in Harry Potter. Watch out for that tree. Revisiting old vault. Hello, 95. Hello, vault 95. I realize that what they did in this vault is like cartoonishly evil. Which uh, one was that? Uh, can we get a bunch of people clean and then what will happen if we give them drugs again? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh gee, what a surprise. Drug dependency is, an, is almost like it's an illness and of course they're gonna relapse. Also, keep your eyes open for... When you started saying that, it sounded kind of like the beginning of the Flintstones song. Also, keep your eyes open. That's how you said it. No, it's not. What are you it, talking about? You said it kind of like that. Also, keep your eyes open for a right shoulder armor for me. Okay, I will. I don't have one I like yet, but it definitely has to be legendary. Okay. Cease at once. Okay, I'm- The vault doors were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Your attempts to breach this facility are laughable. Leave at once, or there will be consequences. Vault Tech will not forgive this vandalism. Oh, hello. Whoever you are, stop. Ow, ow. So a couple raiders trying to get in, we'll just take them out. Hold my beer. I'm gonna finish this. You're not even drinking right now. We're saving the vault dwellers from these raiders who are trying to break in. Jeez Louise. When will you tire of this futility? 
Oh, yeah, that's right. You got the pit boy that can unlock vault doors. <laughs> they, yeah. They probably won't like it, but we're doing it. You have a pit boy? No. Wait. Are you vault tech? Have you finally come to save me? No. Please. I'm trapped behind a mountain of rubble. The key to freeing me is getting the workshop operational. First, lift the security lockdown and get to the reactor room. All right, let's help this woman out. It's been hard to maintain the faith. So many years stranded here. Woo. But you can assure Dr. Braun, if he's even still around, that I have used the time productively. Who? The great work is ready to begin. If you say so. G great work. Cutting a few ghouls, it's fine. Ow. Cutting our way through them with a nice MP9. Lift security lockdown. There we go, lights are on. Vault Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there, you should find it. You got it, ominous voice. Oh my, that's a uh, quite intimidating looking ghoul there. It's glowing orange. You, yeah, he's... Ow! Not, not exactly going to be easy to take down. Ow! In another life, we could have been friends, but not really because you're dead now. Jeez Louise, I had to dump like 200 rounds into this guy. Great, a right arm. Lovely. Hey, I need a right arm. It's not even a right arm. It's just a piece of fuzz. Bring it back to base. Maybe I'll use it. Huh. <sighs> All right. This doesn't look half bad in here. It's not finished, but oh, you're a ghoul. Of course you are. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault, but you're clearly not with vault -Tec. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? We had a bloodlust. We saw raiders. Actually, we're here to offer you the bargain of a lifetime. We're traveling salesmen, and if you act now, you can get a vintage set of encyclopedias. An encyclopedia? Uh, <sighs> ah, humor. I've been on my own so long, almost didn't recognize that. My name is Valerie Barstow, and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please... Follow me. I have a there's proposal a, there's a ghoul for you. Over there. It's there, been there, a hard 200 years. There, there's a ghoul. I was giving a tour of what was to be my pride and joy. My there's void. multiple ghouls. Then the earthquakes, sirens. Many died. Never mind. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation. Somehow. No. Okay, they're hostile. <laughs> hey, ladies. What the? F the construction crew didn't. Fair as well as me. We had to put him down. You've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's oh, gee. probably best if you put them out of their misery. You couldn't be bothered, huh? All right. It's a rampant murder time. That was a glowing one. We got a glowing one over here. Gonna have to deal with that too. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. I don't know who's got that gun. I tried digging my way to the entrance. Ah, cool! Oh, wait, no. With that control board, I could have changed everything. But uh -huh. there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. But my work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. Cool. I'd like to share it with you. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. Okay. A series of prototypes and their related... Well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. vault destroyed a lot of people's lives, so whatever. They can go screw. I don't really give a shit. I understand that a former Vault resident could harbor certain feelings. I'll tell you what. <laughs> These experiments, I will let you run them. If you find anything unconscionable, just don't do it. Or change the parameters of the experiment. I assure you these devices can make people's lives better. Just give me a chance. Can these experiments even be run ethically? If you insist on hobbling the prototype's potential, yes. 
You could abide by as many ethical standards as you'd like. I suggest being more open-minded. But the choice will ultimately be yours. I could feel the quotation marks around ethical standards. Yeah, swivel in that chair. Yeah. Type, type, type. Type, 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 type. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long. But we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. Good lord. You don't want to leave? When I finally have a chance to complete my mission? Never. It's all I've been thinking about, dreaming about, for hundreds of years. You- Wait, have you- been, you've been down here for, what, 200 years? Yes, she's been down here since the war started. How did you survive without any food or water purification she or- has, She has food over there. Does she? Yeah, there's- she has cans of Spam. Oh, is or, that gonna last 200 years? She has cans of Cram, and also they're ghouls, so she can just kind of lick pipes for- for water. <laughs> uh, what makes perfect test subjects, then? Healthy. Well, healthy enough. And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. Alright, fine. Let's find some guinea pigs. The Vault Tech Handbook urges overseers to refrain from using that word. No matter how apt. Turn on the Vault's radio beacon. Certainly people above ground would give anything to live in our Vault. And then we run away. And never come back here. Okay, we visited four vaults. Let's return to the Vault 4 cult. And I feel totally comfortable leaving this murderous sociopath here because, as we've proven, she's completely incapable of making anything. 200 years, she's done nothing. Why would she start now? Yeah, exactly. Man, we're going to have done, like, everything in town and then go talk to the mayor. And the mayor's going to be like, help out around town. Oh, shit. <laughs> have you completed your pilgrimage of the four? Yep, all done. Then... It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the Church of the Four. Yay! Eat. Stay for a sermon to celebrate your joining. Huzzah! I will do so. When does the sermon start? You get a, you get a sermon now? I surmise you're not doing anything until we sit and worship? My fellow followers of the Four, can you hear me? Amen. We hear you. Fellow followers. I want to talk to you about love. What more precious virtue can there be than love? Molly, Would steal his keys. Love, the four would not exist. The creators so loved their fellow men that they constructed the four to offer them protection. Uh, you two amen. must learn to love as they do, to help and protect our fellow man, no matter what Ooh. may come our way. And let me tell you something Wow, that's else. a strong man! It is this great virtue through which we derive <laughs> our Molly's strength. Molly's used to it. She's a cheerleader. Yeah. <laughs> the four has stood for over 200 years, and may it stand for 200 more. The walls of the four have never been broken in all that time. And like the four, we stand strong and unshakable. It is through all this that the Four can become a model for how we should all live our lives. May the Four protect you all. Until he opens the door again. It's too late, we've been forsaken! What if the Vault Four gets us? Now that you are a member of the Church of the Four, you are entitled to enter our sanctum. There, we hold a sacred item of the four which you can contemplate. That is just one of two artifacts which our church holds. Ooh, well, tell me about them. In our sanctum, you will find the artifact of perception. Mm -hmm. Through this artifact, we believe that the four watches over us. You will have seen the other when you attend my sermons. The pulpit from which I preach is a communication system between myself and the Four. Ooh. The creators use the device to give the Four instructions to open and close. 
while it no longer serves this purpose. The Four still uses it to talk to me on occasions. So you, you lived here your whole life? No. I grew up on a small farm to the west. One day, I had a dream where the Four called me here to serve him. I have lived here since the day I passed through the gates. The Four has always provided for me. I'm so proud of the work we do here. Are you offering people rest and quarter? Our church looks after all the lost souls who need the force protection. Oh, qu quarter. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I, got, I, I see. What do you know about vault -Tac? You mean the creators. The creators created the four to watch over us. All things must have a beginning after all. Of course, the creators are the exception, but they are eternal. I've heard enough for now. Four now! Very well. Is there something else you needed? Is there anything we can do for you? Ah! Why, yes, there is. I'm interested in learning more about the Four's brethren, especially those further from the Commonwealth. I've heard of a place called Far Harbor, where some say such a site lies. If you could recover an artifact from the creators from there, the church would be most grateful. Yeah, we're gonna have to forfeit that mission. Yeah, well, if I go there, I'll let you know. Now, well, I can't do anything with this. Oh, I can't plug in your pit, boy. No, it's got like a different... Yeah, it's like a PS2 port. Like one of those ones that old mice plugged into. You had DS2, we need a DS3. The Sanctum. Woo! The Sanctum. Ooh. <laughs> no one's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Foresight can be 2020 if you look hard enough. Ah! <laughs> this isn't maniacal laughing because I've stolen something. This is just how I breathe. <laughs> now we execute everyone. No, no, we can. Oh, we, wait, no, we don't have to do that. They didn't. They didn't notice. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's one of the other fun things about this gun is that it has a rail mount on the on the suppressor collar, oh. so you can attach a flashlight or a laser to it. Oh, all right. Yeah. Cool. I don't wouldn't normally recommend attaching a laser to it, specifically because if you're trying to zero the laser for use with night vision, yeah, it won't be very accurate. That's why generally people put a flashlight on it and they mount a rail. Well, there's a rail on certain versions. There's a rail on the right hand side of the gun. Um, and generally they mount like a laser sight to that instead mm -hmm. because that's going to be slightly more zeroable. But also you are using a submachine gun so it's not really like it has to be super accurate. 